I don't know about you, but the ability to be able to write all of my headers, notes, to-dos, quotes, everything without having to take my hands off of the keyboard is a real time saver. Subscribe and hit the notification bell to stay part of the conversation. For free Notion templates, check out the link in the description below. So before I actually start taking any notes, what I do is put a table of contents right at the top of my page. Normally I have this in a template, so the table of contents is already there before I even start taking notes. Then whenever you add a header in, it's automatically sorted. So you can use the hash key and space to bring a header one in. And now the table of contents will automatically update as you go through taking notes. You can add text in, add notes in, add another header by putting two hashes and a space. Now you've got a subheader. You can carry on writing, maybe another subheader. So three hashes and a space brings a header three up. And this will keep going all the way down the page, all the way down the document. The more headers you add in, the more the content page will fill out. So we can add another header one, hash space. Maybe we need to add some bullet points so we can use the dash and space and bullet points will come up. Then when you push enter, the bullet points will keep going. And if you decide that's all the bullet points, you can just backspace it and you're now back to text blocks. Maybe you want a numbered list instead, so you can just put the number, a full stop and space, and then you've got a numbered list down there. And the same thing, you push the backspace and you're back into text blocks. Maybe add another header with those hash keys. Maybe you want to add a quote, but instead of having the quote in a text block, you can just create a quote block by putting the quote marks, space, and there's the quote block for you so you can see it straight away when you're going back through your notes. I know I go off on tangents when I'm in a lecture, so I might use a toggle block to write down some thoughts that aren't actually related to my notes, but are worth taking. So I'll put the greater than and then space and that opens the toggle. Then I can push control and enter and that will enter the toggle. I can then type out whatever I'm thinking. Then when I'm finished with the toggle, I can push enter backspace and that will take me back into a normal text block. At the end, what I'll do is I'll close all of the toggles up at the same time when I've finished writing all of my notes. Now I'm going to play around with the text a little bit, so when you push two stars, type some words out and push two stars at the end, it makes it bold, or you can make it italic with one star either side. Maybe you want to use a strike through, so you can use that wiggly line next to the hash key, put that both sides like we did with the bold and italics, and it will give you a strike through. If you think of things that you want to get done or like a to-do list during the lecture, all you need to do is just put the square brackets and that will add the to-do list in for you so you can start listing those things out. Maybe they're references you want to go and see. When you're finished, again, you can just backspace and it will go back to that text block and you can carry on writing your notes. I don't tend to use many more shortcuts when I'm taking notes because I might slow down and forget what I'm typing, but I do tab things over when I want to indent something for some reason, and if I do make that mistake, I can hold shift and tab it back to where it was. Now let's assume we've finished the lecture and I don't want to see all of those side thoughts that I'd put in those toggles, so I can push Control alt t and that will close all of those toggles that are open. We can now go back up to the top and you can see we've got our content page right there, so we can see all of the headers, the subheaders that we made throughout all of those notes. A quick note and tip is something that I do is I actually put an emoji on the end of each header. I then copy the link to the table of contents and put that on the emoji. So when I click on the emoji, it will take me back to the content page. I then go down, copy and paste that on the end of all my headers. 
So when I'm skipping between headings and all over the place, if I want to go back to the top of the page or I need to navigate around, I can use those up buttons to get me back to the content page and then I can use that to get me back to wherever header I needed to go to. Once you've created your notes to your pages, storage can be a little bit cumbersome sometimes. So I've actually got a video coming out on a student template, which is where you can store all of your lecture notes. So stick around for that one. But until then, watch this video over here and I'll see you there.